Today's video is going to be a little different. I'm going to do the 200 hour service on the 115 on the back of the tricked out tracker. But I thought I'd do a quick walk around of the boat. We'll start with the front. We have a 80 pound thrust 24 volt Altera. I fully believe in the fact that the more money you can spend on a trolling motor the better. I fish small water, so two foot of water, you don't need a depth finder much, but I do use that little one as a temperature gauge every once in a while. My power pole buttons will step up in here. I got my trolling motor batteries. They're tucked away in that compartment with the charger, everything packed in there. The assorted bay hole. But I put all the carpet in the boat. We started with a 2004 18 and a half foot tracker. I rewired it. All new carpet, like I said. Quarter inch carpet pad underneath all the carpet. Pretty soft to the foot. Then we'll walk back. Uh, like I said, we don't use depth. Worry about depth too much, except under two feet. And then it's just too late to worry about reading it. So that's our GPS. I put all new Yamaha gauges, new seats. Like I said, all the carpet's got padding under it. And we'll come to the back and we put the 2017 115 show, power poles, hydraulic steering. Uh, see if I can get a look in the back. Everything's crammed. It's hard to see, but everything's crammed and packed. The power pole pumps. Everything crammed in the back. But we really love the boat. It's a 50 mile an hour boat all day long. And we love the show. Yamaha, that's the best motor you can put on a boat. Okay, let's get to the 200 hour service. All right, first thing we gotta do is get the cowling off. Lever in the front, lever in the back. Have to cock it up. Now I have to unplug my stern light that I have on top of the cowling. Lift it off very carefully. And set it somewhere safe. Alright, first thing we gotta do is take the back cover off and it just kind of wiggles free. Set it to the side. We'll start with the fuel filter. Just come around and unplug it. You push down on the back. And just unplug it. Come around. Sometimes you can unscrew it by hand. And pop it out there. there. Just unscrew it. Careful, gas is going to leak. Just carefully unscrew it. And pull your old filter out. Stop. Alright, take your new fuel filter out of the box. Let me set the box down. The plunger, this end, sticks up in there. And you just Thread it right back on. Snug it by hand. Snap it back into place. And don't forget to plug it back up. Pull your plugs, match them up, and plug it back. We sure love Florida, but man, give me a break. I'm trying to get some work done. Now it's raining. And the boat's pouring water in the garage. Oh well, take a little break. We'll take a look around the garage while we're taking a break. I'm a North Carolina boy. I've done a little bit of deer hunting in my life. Got a few turkeys. There's me and my wife's motorcycles. Here's a 75 Sportster I built from scratch. Made it look like a little dresser. Here's my 71 shovel that I built. Yeah, 
and a past life. We come around many, many hunting and fishing pictures and memories. Just many. A few bass on the wall. Deer, just turkeys. Pool table. But this is where I hang out. This is where I do most everything. Now we're going to change the spark plugs. So the two screws. Right there. Remove that one. Remove that one. So gently remove your boot. Just give it a little wiggle. Let it come down gently. Remove the spark plug. It's a little tight wiggle in there. They got long threads. Remove the old spark plug. Take your new spark plug. Thread it back in. Extensions bent. Snug it. Put your wrench. Not too tight, just snug. Take your plug wire. Make sure you get it on your plug. Ease it back in there. Start your two bolts. Get them started. Snug them down. Not too tight, just snug. And snug. And just repeat the process for the other three plugs. There's four total. Just work your way down. All right, let's change the awl now. First thing I like to do is remove my filler cap. And then I raise it up some. And I take a five gallon bucket and a 14 millimeter. It goes in that hole. Kind of be careful because your plug will fall in the oil even if you don't want it to it'll do it so i'm gonna try not to do it yay i didn't do it I'll set this to the side lower my motor back down Just let all the oil drain. Okay, now let's remove the oil filter. I've already loosened it some. Just carefully spin it out. Take your new oil filter. Just a little smear of oil on it. Wipe this surface clean. Thread 
get the new filter back on. And just get it as tight as you can get it with your hands. There. That should be plenty good. Now let's add the oil. This one takes 3.4 quarts. Take your cap off and the top little seal and just carefully add your oil. Now we're going to drain the lower unit oil. There's a screw right here. No metal, a little bit, but it's a brand new motor, but I don't see any water, which is good. Now you have to loosen your top one, and it's really going to flow when I crack this one open. So be careful. Keep your screws separated, top from bottom. Now it's going to flow here, be ready. Oh, not too bad. Now I'll lower it down. And just let it drain. The lower unit oil is about drained. Take your plugs, take your old seal off. This way. Wipe it and clean it. Put a new seal on. That's your bottom plug. Take your top plug old seal off, wipe it, clean it, put the new one on there. Right, zoom in, so I can steal. Okay, which one's which? Bottom one has the magnet to collect any shavings, and that's the top one. They're different sizes, so you can't mix them up. Now let's install them. It's still dripping a little bit. Now we have to fill it. We take our bottle, screw our fitting in the bottom hole. Fitting in. You have to fill it from the bottom to push any air out. And it's a pain, but it has to be done that way. I think we can do it with that. Let me know with the motor, get it level. pump until oil starts coming out the top hole. Just pump slow and easy. And it's pushing air out first and replacing it with the lower unit oil. And it'll take most of that quart. Just keep pumping it in slow and easy. Thread it back in. I'd use this screwdriver because I can put a wrench and put a little bit of snug. Now I like to raise it up where I can work on it. Plug ready. Put the top plug in, it won't come out fast. Put your 
about to plug in. Snug. Get a wrench, put it on a screwdriver. And just snug it up tight. Well, that's everything. Now while we're here, I want to show you. Let me find my drill bit. My speedometer quit working. So if your speedometer off your motor quits working, you'll feel there's a little tiny hole right there. It gets grass and sticks. Take a drill bit. Don't put it in a drill. Just take a drill bit. Find that hole. And slowly with your hands work it. Now I can feel it hitting stuff. So I'm drilling it. And when you pull it out, you can see the stuff on the end. You just slowly keep drilling it and you'll feel yourself work through there it went. And most of the time, that's why your speedometers won't work. It gets a piece of grass, a piece of stick. But there you go. There's another little trick. Now we're going to drop the lower unit to put a new water pump in. So first thing I do is pull my little rubber plug. Down in here is a 13 millimeter bolt. Get down there on it. There it went. All right. That's taking the plate off. Now that bolt will just stay in there. You're just taking this off the bottom. Set that to the side. Now there's a bolt right there. All right, now take this bolt out under here. It's hard and wash your hands on your prop. So you took the bolt out that was holding the plate. Zinc plate. Zinc plate. Now I'm taking the bolt out that's bolted up into there. your plate then you take your 14 millimeter wrench and we're going to take all of these out there's one two three on this side and one two three on this side and I'll stop on the last one because that's when the unit will come okay last bolt be careful with it because that lower unit could technically just fall out Keep a hand on it. Is it heavy? Yes, very heavy. You can handle it heavy, but heavy. Alright, now we just give it a little wiggle. What are you doing? Hand me my little clips back here. I'm unhooking the speedometer cable. Or the hose for the speedometer. And be careful, them little nipples will break off easy. There. And that's for your speedometer, that hole I cleaned out. Okay, we got the lower unit. We removed these four bolts. I've already loosened them. You just take your wrench. They have little washers that are directional. You'll see how they fit in those little cups. But remove these four bolts. And your water pump housing just comes up. Just give it a couple wiggles. You may have to take a screwdriver carefully. And just carefully push up. On it. There it comes. There's the plastic part. Now your housing is still on there. I said just be gentle. Yeah, my cup stayed on my rubber. 
So this water pump is probably going to be rough looking. There it is. Not too bad. I'll clean all this up. All the O-rings look good. The cup looks good. Just needs cleaned up. We have run some sand through it. Now comes the fun part. And now here comes the tricky part. There's a little metal collar over a piece of plastic. You have to bump that collar up off of there carefully. And when it comes, it's going to come. Okay, my ring wouldn't remove, so I had to go buy a new one. But this slides up. It slides over that. So you pop that up and pull the plastic clip up. And off. Next, you remove the three washers above the impeller. Two of them are flat. One is squiggly. Flat one, squiggly in the middle, flat one. Remember that. And pull up on the impeller. Watch for your key. Mine's still in the shaft. Pull off your old impeller. It's a little tight. Pull off the old impeller, take your rag, clean the bottom, get your new impeller, you can see the hole for the key that's down, there's my key, there's my hole. Line your hole in your impeller with your key and push it down. There your impeller's on. Then you re repeat, reverse the process. Three washers, flat, squiggly, flat. Slide those on. Then your plastic collar. Get slides on, on the ring on top of it. And you take a screwdriver and a little hammer. And just gently tap it down over it, but it's gotta be secure and snug. Go around to each side. Snug it down on the impeller. Looks pretty good. Then you take your cover. I like to wipe mine out. I put a little bitty smear of grease in it. Just a little bit of grease in it. I just smear a little bit of grease just to help the impeller go in. Now slide your cup on. Turn your shaft till the cup goes down. There, it's in there. Now you want to grease all bolts that go back in. Take 
a little grease, smear it on a bolt, and start it back in. Get your washers in the right direction. Repeat that with all of them. Put all four bolts back in. Grease them and turn the washers the right way. All four bolts are snug. Now I like to put a little grease on my shifter shaft. And grease up the top shaft. And I wipe a little on there just to help it go on and a little there to help it go on. Well, that's the lower unit back together. It's ready to go back on the boat. Before we put the lower unit on, put grease on all of your bolts and a little shot of grease in the hole for your trim tab. Now start assembling. Okay, it's time to put it in. Hold. Pick your speedometer hose back up. Make sure your hose is out of the way. Turn it till it pops in. Now, get your, now make sure your shifter shaft is in. Take just a moment to line it up. Just line up my shifter shaft. There. All right, start your bolt. Run one in and then check it to make sure it'll go in and out of gear. Snug it up tight. Snug it tight. See that it's in neutral. Shift it into gear. And make sure it's in gear. It's in gear. So we got the shifter shaft lined up. Now just replace your other one, two, three, four, five bolts. Put the bolt in the bottom and put on the trim tab. And that'll be it. I've reinstalled these six bolts. I greased them and reinstalled them. Now I'm going to put the bolt that goes back up into the lower unit.
fighting it down. Hmm. There's that one. All that's left is to put your trim tab back on. And you tighten the bolt back, which I grease the tab. Always grease every bolt before it goes back in. Don't forget to put your plug back in. And that should be it. That's a new water impeller. We changed the oil. We put a fuel filter. New spark plugs. I think we're good. Time to fire it up. Okay, we got our service done. We're going to crank it up and make sure the water pump's pumping and there's no fuel leaks and no oil leaks. So let's crank the boat. Check the oil, and if it's good, I'm going fishing in the morning. Thanks for watching Small Water Charters.